and Islam. And this is a ni'mah. This is a grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So sometimes people have different ways of expressing. Some people express by smiling. Some people express by contributing. Some people express by opening their heart out. Some people express in reflecting what they understand about Allah, how much they pine about Allah, how much they pine in their heart about the love for the most beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sometimes you have the formula coming out in the form of Hassan bin Sabit radiallahu ta'ala an. And so this tradition is found. وَأَجْمَلَ مِنْكَ يَا مُحَمَّدُ لَمْ تَرَى قَدْتُ عَيْنِ so beautiful like you, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. I swear by Allah, my eyes have never witnessed anyone so beautiful like you before. وَأَكْمَلَ مِنْكَ يَا مُحَمَّدُ لَمْ تَلِدِ nisa And so complete in perfection of creation, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. I swear by Allah, I have never witnessed, I have never come to know of any mother give birth to such a blessed child before. خُلِقْتَ مُبَرَّأً مِنْ كُلِّ عَيْبٍ These are the words of Hassan bin Sabit radiallahu ta'ala an saying that you have been created, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam free from any defect whatsoever, subhanallah. Meaning that the aqeedah of Hassan bin Sabit radiallahu ta'ala is that he is the most haseen and he is the most akmal and he is free from any defect whatsoever. And he goes one step for, further when he says, خُلِقْتَ مُبَرَّأً مِّن كُلِّ عَيْبٍ كَأَنَّكَ قَدْ خُلِقْتَ كَمَا تَشَاءٍ it is as if to say, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, that Allah created you the way you wished and wanted to be created and he was happy with that. So these are the blissful <coughs> poetries. There are also more poetries for your information. Some people do not find it in Bukhari and Muslim and Tirmizi. This is because they think Sira is all in Bukhari. No. You have to read Sira Ibn Hisham. You have to read other hadith books, such as Al Mawahibu Al Dunya, such as hadith of Khasa'is Kubra. These ahadiths are being omitted, in which it is full, like the Shama'il Tirmidhi, the full of the description of the noble Prophet Muhammad. If this is not the month in which we can really really work on our love for Rasulullah which month will you work on? The month of Ramadan you work on your spirituality how to give away things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how to detach away from materialism for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah rewards you with an Eid what about the rest of the 11 months? Subhanallah you are living, breathing, talking eating, drinking, and that, and those things become halal upon you by the name of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. So how about expressing that? How about learning how to express your thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And so we learn that poetry is not an innovation. It is something that was from the time and to study the book of Tirmidhi, the hadith of Tirmidhi will tell you. To study al mawahibul la dunya will tell you. To study Madarij al nubuwa is going to tell you all of these things of Shaykh Muhaddis Dehlubi rahmatullahi ta'ala. So here is not about trying to convince you because everyone has come because this is the call that has been accepted by Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Like we say in the Urdu language, Aate hai wahi jin ko sarkar bulate hai. It is indeed that your love for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is so overwhelming 
that you didn't just intend and make an intention, you in fact made your physical contribution by making every step to this place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you, reward the Ummatun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that is grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sending such mercy to the whole of mankind. I would like to invite at this moment Honorable Brother Mehmet, who is from Turkey, and I would like to kindly respect, uh, request him, inshallah, <coughs> to read a nasheed if he is here, mashallah. So we will listen to a Turkey, Turkish uh, nasheed, inshallah, in praise of the noble Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, this is our Honorable uh, Mehmet Sahab who frequently comes here and he has a beautiful uh, voice for Azan. So everyone receives lots of sukoon when he gives his Turkish uh, uh, dialectual Azan. So Allah bless him and give him more sweetness in his voice. We inshallah move on to uh, one of my pupils from school as well, uh, 